Okay, hey guys, um, I'm just doing a small video. It may help some of you out, may not, but where I stay, um, I can't get airbrush stencils, and then if I can't have to order online, and it's quite expensive, especially the COVID, you know, and virus and all that. So, I'm gonna show you technique is um, what you will need. Well, one thing you need to is permanent marker, doesn't matter. The best thing is a small head, this is a big head, like a sharp head. And, sorry, my room's a bit messy. If you can, it doesn't have to be too hard, but also soft is um, on these binders, you know, like getting, you know, you keep your paper and all that, these binders, okay. I use white here, and what you do is you cut, you cut it so sort of separate piece. So you need that, and also a, um, if you have one of these, these are great for you know when you because you got to cut the stencils out. And what you also need is a, a cutter, a Zacto blade, or a professional one. I can't. This is the only one I can find locally. And what I've done is. If, you, if, like I say, if you don't want to spend too much money on stencils and, you know, do you mean, these can be clean after you use, you know, just get a piece of towel or tissue paper with a bit of acutone or thinner and, you know, it doesn't really eat too much. It doesn't do too much damage on this. Sorry, I had a big lunch. But, um, yeah, what I've do is just get stencil pictures off the internet and it depends on how big you want. And well done, this is my notebook. It does, some people say you can damage your notebook. Just don't press too high, you know, I got a marker, permanent marker. I use tape, and you can see I put my binder there. It's not 100% like, you know, it, if I had the the money to get the originals, I would, but you know, nowadays I just got the budget and cost quite a bit to get a whole like, collection of stencils. So well I've done, gone through the internet, and I got this. It takes time, but it's worth it. And I just use the permanent marker and just go across the screen. But yeah, tape it on top. Don't put and just you know use your marker and just go along it. Mark each line because like I said, this one I've done one may not be as smooth as a machine, but you know it's good enough for what I can use. This is um blood drips. And I've done this one now, some gears, because I have a custom helmet you'll see in the video, next video. It has to be like mechanical, so some gears, like I said, it's just rough, rough lining because I'll cut it properly. And I've done some of these um, true fire stencils, flames. They still work, I mean, it's not exactly like the originals, but they still help out a bit. And let's see. You probably saw the um, the scar helmet I did, the recent one, the B B C M C. This is the box I cut from it. These are the ones I used on that helmet. Like I said, you, you know, just use permanent marker and just take your time, use a cutter, but watch your fingers. And I cut each one out, so I got custom skull. Because like I said, in um, one of the other airbrushes, uh, quick phrases, these sensors are just supposed to help you out, you know. Just give you a guideline where they are. So, yeah. I'm going to go through a lot. I'm going to get some more stencils. Cut as much as I can do, but it'll, it'll take time. But it will help you out with, you know, if, if you don't spend that much money. I know they're not much. In America, they're not much. They're only about 15 bucks or something, but where I'm staying, 15 bucks is quite a lot. And plus, overseas shipment is quite expensive. Um, but yeah, let me know if this video does help you out. If you have, you know, to those people who good comments, bad comments, I don't mind. But like I said, I'm just doing this because you know, nowadays everything was locked down and I got some work and I can't spend that much money on stencils. That's just me do with what I do, you know. But yeah, this is advice. This, Helping for those out there, for you guys out there, if you want to make custom stencils or some basic ones, you just take your time doing lines, 
Some lines you don't exactly have to copy every single line on the stencils, just the big ones and the ones you can cut small enough. But yeah, okay, so I hope this video helped you out and if you have any comments from about other custom stencils saying let me know. I'll be doing some custom stencil designs of my own. Maybe like steampunk or biomechanical, but yeah. So thank you for watching, please do subscribe, if you don't, then yeah, that's no problem, I'm, I'm just glad you dropped by and took a look at my clip, but please be safe out there, and always wear a mask when you're spraying, and always be safe everyone, thank you for watching.